Hi everyone. So it's late. I'm not wearing any makeup because it's late. Um, I have to be kind of quiet because the rest of my family is asleep. But I thought I'd do a little review on this Conair Basic Iron Curling Iron. Um, this is the one inch barrel, and it looks like this from the top side view. Just has Conair and the clip. So it starts off with probes. Um, so this clamp is actually really easy to use, which is a definite pro because I know some, um, of my old curling irons that I used to have, they just, like, the clamps are really hard to use, and this one's really smooth and stuff, so it's definitely a pro. Um, it does have the little dial right here, and this is for, um, adjusting the heat level and this is on and off so it's pretty straightforward and those are definitely definite pros it also has a um cool tip so this tip never gets hot and that's a really good thing because if you're like me and you have thick hair or layered hair that like mine's growing out so it's getting thicker um and you really want it curled but you always have to turn it to the highest setting, um, and the top gets hot. This one, the top does not get hot at all, which is a really good pro. Um, and then there's this, which is actually called the Ready Dot, and it looks like this. It's right on the handle, and it's um, a dot that glows when the iron is ready, and instead of this blinking, which I think is a pretty much a better feature because that's what I had on my old curling iron but this one doesn't have it it has a little ready dot and I mean it works so um cons number one con is um it takes a really long time to heat up I've already made some other videos like five other videos that are like six minutes long each and I just turned this on in the second video and it's still heating up so, it's definitely a con. Um, it takes forever to heat up. Um, the dial is very small. It is hard to work. As you can see, my finger is like ginormous compared to it. That's definitely a con. Um, you have to hold it a long time to get it to actually curl your hair because it is used for more like barrel curls I guess or like you could turn this into a U curl actually pretty easily but um I mean that's one of the cons also um it's a pretty short curling iron as you can see so if you have a lot of long hair I would definitely go for a thinner and longer length one um I know I went for this because I needed a quick iron because my other one just totally broke on me and um, it was $9.99 so that's a pretty good price. Don't let it fool you. Um, any of these kinds where it's like blue on the bottom, blue on the top and it looks like this, um, don't get it because it's just a rip off and you just spent $10 on your money that was wasted because it just, it's not a good curling iron. So we can test it out now. Um, I'm definitely recommending the Infinity U Curl by Conair because um, it's easy to use and you can just wrap it around. So that's what happens after like 10 seconds, which is usually what I would do on my other curling iron. And this is what happens. It just makes a C. It's very unattractive. And definitely not what you want. So if you want ringlets or waves or curls, definitely go with a different curling iron. This is not your curling iron. Um, I really need a new curling iron. So I'm probably going to transform this. And um, yeah, this is not a good one. I'm just saying, that was my review on the Conair Basic Curler. 
um, it's otherwise known as the, oh, just fell, um, it's otherwise known as the Connor Supreme, and this is the box it comes in. It does have a two-year warranty, although I have not seen any, um, like, spawn flying or anything, so none of those kind of problems. It does have a lot of cons to it, so let me know about any curling irons that you think work really, really well um, in the comment section below, or if you're on the iPad, um, to the side. Um, so yeah.